Hi there, I'm Steve Knutson. I'm a Microsoft MVP for Office Services and Apps. Um, I'm going to do a demonstration of some things I've been working on this week. A question was thrown at me about creating a form which had multiple sections uh, which um, uh, on a SharePoint list. So the way this form works is basically uh, as a user I can click the new button. Uh, when I click the new button it creates a new form for me. So it's going to get some uh, the forms. I'm going to fill in some things here. So I'll just create a test one. I'll select some uh, business unit, so uh, IT. Um, enter in a delivery address, so 123 Kent Road, um, Christchurch, New Zealand, um, which the event can be me, whoops, not me on the keyboard today, um, steve at nowhere.com, um, and then when I click next it's going to take me to the next screen on here, uh, on this screen I'm going to enter in some information about a computer, so I want a surface Pro, um, docking station, yes, monitor, no, keyboard, don't need to worry about the keyboard, no, and then mouse, uh, Microsoft, wireless, mouse, and um, some instructions, so deliver on Wednesday. Um, next I'm going to go through to my terms and conditions screen, um, and here I went to some details of my cost centre. Um, I've got a people field in here, so I can choose the person that I want to, if I want um, someone, click send for approval. And then what that's going to do is it's going to basically create the item in the SharePoint list in the background. Uh, so if I click into here, you'll see it's created my, my list item. Now interestingly, it hasn't saved some of those fields. Um, but it has saved those other ones over there. Very interesting. Must be something wrong with my form um, in the data. Let's have a wee look at that while we go. So to customise this SharePoint list, first thing you need to do is create the list. Then under Power Apps, choose Customize Form. Once you've chosen Customize Form, it'll take you to the Power Apps Designer screen here. Uh, and in the screen here, you'll see I've got a series of fields, a uh, series of screens. So getting the recipient details, getting the computer details, submitting for the approval, and then completed. Within each of these screens, I've got different sets of fields showing up on the screen. And what I'm doing here basically is selecting the um, on each of the forms a specific, specific set of fields. So for example, in the user form, I've got my computer requests data source and a subset of the fields listed on here. So a couple of little tricks that you need to know about. Um, when we create a new screen and we split the form, we need to set the default values on the form, otherwise SharePoint will pop up and say it's, or Parrot form I should say, will pop up and say it's waiting for data. So the way we sort that out is clicking onto the form in each of the screens making sure we have the item properly selected and then set the defaults and then our data source name. So if we do that on each of the forms, then if the form is blank, we'll get the blank fields popping through and if the form is populated, we'll get the populated fields popping through. The second thing that we need to do is we need to actually uh, submit all of these items for approval. So the way we do that is on, the, on my submit approval form here, I've got a button and on that button, I've got a patch command. In the patch, I have my data source my defaults for that data source, which is the values entered into the form, and then I'm going to update the values um, from the various forms that I have. So I've got three forms. Each each form I use the form name dot updates, um, and then once I've completed, uh, once I've done that, that will submit all items together in one go, making it um, a single item create rather than creating an item and adding to it. That's useful if you want to run a flow, for example, when you patch a new uh, when you submit a new item um, that with all of the data. So one more thing I'll show you here is if I want to add an additional screen in, uh, basically what I do is from here, choose new screen, and then from the new, on my new screen, I'm going to go over to add a form, and I'm going to use an edit form. So once I've got the edit form on here, uh, basically select the edit form position on the page, and then making sure I've got the form selected, so form three in this case, and my data source name here is blank. I'll change that to my selected data source, and then that will bring all the fields in. I then remove the fields that I don't want on that particular screen. So for example, on the first screen I wanted to gather just some details of the person. Um, so then I removed all the other details such as the computer etc from that screen. Um, I can do that simply by selecting the data card and pressing the delete key on the keyboard to, de to delete it. Or I can go into edit here to edit the fields and you'll see the position of the fields on here. So if I wanted to change the order of the fields I can move this one up. For example, move it up to the top there. Uh, or I can do things like delete the field here as well, so remove it, um, the ones that I don't want as well. So you'll see them dropping off the form, and if I just reverse the order of the keyboard and mouse, you'll see that they just changed on the form here as well. Um, and I'm just going to go through and delete a few more.
Now, once, I've, once I'm ready to go, at that point there, all I need to do now is, um, because I've created a new form, is go back to my Submit um, button. So this particular button here, and what I'll do is edit the patch, uh, and under here put a comma, add the form name, which in this case is Form 3, dot updates, and then that would update any field values that I've changed in that form when I click that button as well. Of course, you want to set some navigation buttons up so you can navigate backs and forwards using the navigate um, command here to um, move your backs and forwards between the various screens. Um, so really, that's once that's done, the last thing you need to do is you need to go File, and then Save the Item, and that's going to save the item to your um, to your SharePoint site, uh, and then Publish to SharePoint. Now, when I publish, um, that will update the form. Over in SharePoint over here, what I need to then do is refresh my browser, otherwise the updates don't come through for that particular form. So I've refreshed the browser, um, and now that form, if I uh, click onto here to um, edit the item, this time, we should get that item open up in my form. It's waiting for the page to refresh, so it's loading, reloading the, the Power App um, onto the form. And then I should be able to edit the item. You'll see what, I, um, what it's done there, so it's, going, it's, it's got the default read form because it's an existing item, click edit all, and now I can edit the items on here. Click to my next screen, you'll see it's dropped my data out. The reason it's dropped the data out is because these fields are lookups, and for some reason the lookups are not working on this form at the moment. Um, anyway, that's my demo, um, hopefully you've learned a few tricks, um, this is something that I've been working on a wee bit myself this week, it's been a bit of fun, so give it a go and um, enjoy the rest of the day. Cheers, bye.